start the recording and then put those two together. So I'll do that. All right, because yeah, yeah. there's some fun okay. stuff going on. So all right, <laughs> I'll explain. So Mara takes her um her spear. Mm. I have mm -hmm. a spear. Yeah. Um, and attempts to cut said tentacle to hopefully get rid. Oh, actually, it's piercing damage. So That's okay. Tries to poke the the spear into letting clue go. Okay. And oh, that it's uh, I was on, oh yeah that definitely hits eight, eight piercing. piercing damage. All right, it hasn't let clue go, but uh, you hear sort of like a thrashing from under the water uh, as your spear lands in a very soft spot in its body, and it is you're starting to see like an inky blood now fill the water. Oh no! <laughs> All right, Gorko, he is up. He's like, I told you, leave my new friends alone. Oh, he's hit. Oh my God, he is hitting like a mofo. Yeah, he hit <laughs> just to really uh, get another one. Uh, you see him, the the sh arrow flies from the bow and flies under, you know, breaks the surface of the water and almost immediately more of this sort of inky liquid puffs out in like the way that creamer does in coffee. Uh, and it is now, like, you can feel uh, around you, Clue, that it's not got the strength it had earlier, and it feels like it still is grappling you, but it, it doesn't, it, that's not almost making you breathless and almost suffocate anymore. You can kind of feel its life is draining out of it. So, um, yeah, and then the tentacle is... All right, and... All right, it's going to try to uh, bite you, uh, Clue, while it's got you in its claws. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it, it, you can tell this is not the creature that first grabbed you and pulled you into the water. It <coughs> brings you close and tries to bite you. But uh, it, it, it basically just, it seems to uh, kind of lose energy as as it brings you closer to its mouth and you're able to, even in your grappled state, kind of like avoid it. Just like kind of turn your head a little bit, so. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Hibara. Hibara, Hibara, Hibara. Uh, yeah. And let's go back and hit 14. Oh, yeah, that hits. Okay. And seven. How do you want to do it? That is exactly the amount you needed, by the way. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, well, I forgot the tentacle is, like, attached to Clue, right? Mm -hmm. Then, like, dead set in between the tentacle and where the middle of the token is just like straight down the center explode it yeah right the fire. yeah so clue you feel um as this explosion happens in the water near you uh the grappling effect the tightness just kind of loosens and the tentacle just goes limp around you and you're able to just easily kind of shake out of it and shake loose Oh, that was close for me. And so Are you okay, my friend? Down. <laughs> yeah, that's, this was the nastiest, this is probably the nastiest thing you faced so far. It actually, like, describes, um, like, what to do if one of your character dies. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it, oh, this it, boy thing. It, so the like uh, the little story is that it was a there was a planar like it was a it was a planar connection to like a sewage dimension, and the city thought they would just put their sewage into the sewage dimension, but then other things they realized could come through the sewer dimension into the world. And it was just like, yeah, you know, if a person goes underwater and uh, they don't get out in this many turns, they become unconscious and it just takes them back with them to the sewage plane. 
and then maybe they come back and avenge their party as a ghost. I was like, I don't want that to happen, yeah. but you know, just <laughs> Dude, if they come back to as a ghost and just put them to work at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> the blue dies by going to the trash trash dimension. Like I wouldn't even be mad. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Clue's already trash, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it just kind of, I guess, these... sort of... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I, I was just going to say, are these tentacles, like, floating in the water? Yeah, yep, yeah, they are. Some of them now are, that have been cut off and blown off and stuff. Some of them are crispy. Yeah, like, one of, the, one, of, one of the picked up, one of the broken off ones. What what does it feel like? What is it? Oh, it's like... kind of like a eely uh, sort of a tentacle. So if you imagine like a massive eel, uh, but it's sort of okay. like kind of like if you imagine an octopus's arms, but you know, obviously much bigger and thicker, but that kind of density. Okay, we're gonna Who's we're gonna take one. Tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I, I feel like Kabara's gonna take a tentacle. She <laughs> is. Are you also gonna take some ink? No, just the, just just the, just the tentacle. Just the tentacle. You're boring. Take some ink. I don't. Well, so well, how, how, take how would I take ink? the ink? Take well, the I ink. Take? I don't have any. You can't just put ink in a bag. <laughs> put a tentacle in a bag. <laughs> you can totally put ink in a bag. I mean, <laughs> Canadians you just put have milk an ink in a bag. bag. <laughs> Canadians put in milk in a bag. Uh, so I think so do Mexicans. Okay. Um. Garku comes running, a Garko comes running over to Mara and goes, Murder Mama, Murder Mama, did you see what I did? I got him three times. You did so well. Thank you have to save Clue. I saw oh. you. You were amazing. Eh, I could have done better. You, you no. did very well, little Gorku. No. I, I think you. you would make a superb arcane archer. Oh, <gasps> you think? Oh, oh I know so. Oh. What's arcane? Is that like arcane magic? Indeed it is. Oh, yes. Wow. Cool. Okay. Um, so uh, you've got a dripping wet. You got a... Gorko is having a great time with you guys. He's never been like this much of the center of attention. <laughs> um, and Clue is dripping wet. Uh, Thelvar, I think you jumped in. So you're sort of wet from the waist down because you waded in. Uh, but yeah, I take it you guys head off down the tunnel, uh, continuing down the passage, correct? I'm still uh, covered in guts, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, if you want to jump in the water. I, I mean, it's sewage, so maybe not. I don't think it would no. help. <laughs> right? no. I, was gonna say, I, I, I mean, said water. I, I have, like, sewage on, like, my boots, but, like, it, it's just adding to the fact that Mara needs a shower when she gets Yeah, home. that water is uh, <laughs> supposed to be is blue, but really it should be brown. Like, they shouldn't make that water blue. <laughs> All right, so you guys continue on through the passage for a while, um, and then eventually, um, can someone roll me a perception? Actually, yeah, actually, all of you can roll me perception this time. Uh, I was switching the accent, but uh, okay, oh, yeah, so <laughs> yeah, okay. just using the same modifier. Right, um, Habara, yeah, so Habara and Clue, um, you both hear the sounds. It sounds like, I don't know, it's a weird kind of like almost like screeching noise um, scratching. Um, you hear something uh, coming from the room in front of you. Hmm. Uh, let me set this up one second because you're going to see this right away. Okay. We both are also the two with dark vision. Yes, yeah, so that's I, very helpful. Right. Um, <laughs> It's like, I can't see shit. Oh, I think it's already on your lair. I think you guys can already see it a little bit. I can't see any. Oh god! And like, I have to keep changing like the view screen. And no. But you can also, of course, always ask them to describe what they see, because that's what you would do in game anyway. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't trust oh, okay. either one of them because I feel like they would just walk me into a wall. <laughs> you know what a vampire squid looks like. No. no! <laughs> you. Oh, it looks like that. Yeah. Are these floaty or are these like? All right, so let me sell it on what you guys uh, see with your dark vision. Um, what you see is a small brass-colored dragon thrashing madly at the far end of the ca cavern, trapped beneath two large boulders that block a northern tunnel. 
Two dark creatures dark. resembling flying squids dart just out of the dragon's reach, harassing it constantly, just sort of going in for little attacks and then jumping out in time. Um, another northern tunnel is also blocked with debris, and only a tunnel to the east stands clear of debris. <sighs> so you see two dark squid-like creatures attacking a young, what looks like a very young brass dragon. I'm going to blast this one. Chromatic dragons just... in this setting are usually good aligned, aren't yes. they? Yes. Yeah, I'm dragons, yeah. We want to protect yes. the dragons. Protect Immediately, the dragons. just mm. <laughs> okay. shooting that one. All right, you guys. Uh, yeah, you're, they're not paying attention to you, so you can get a surprise round. Let me just check their AC. That hits. This one, just mm -hmm. to be clear. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, that's for six. Try yep. It's the same one as before. Right. Well, so that I can order sneak it back. Uh, okay, so for an extra ten. Yep. Does All right. the fourteen hit? And a fourteen also hits. Yes. And which one were you aiming at? <coughs> um, same one uh, as Habara. All right. That's all right. Pardon? Yeah. Uh, that one. Uh, well, Gar Gorko is in the back, so he can't. I don't know what his dark vision is. I'd have to check that. But um, yeah, you 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 knock the shit out of that thing. It goes <laughs> flying, uh, and 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 basically like is it's basically like on the ground at this moment, stunned and just like not entirely sure what the hell is going on. Uh, it does not look good, not in the least. Uh, all right, so let me clear before you do anything. Let me go ahead and clear the. Uh, turn list from last time and then if I can have you all yep you know the drill I just like to say it out loud because I need to click Gorko now and uh, wait. and goblins have dark vision of 60 feet oh okay thank you I'm gonna have to like well if we if you guys keep him around I'll have to uh, yeah so he would be able to see that from where he is so he's he can shoot from his distance all right. Oh. Okay. Then Mara we... can Mara yeah. can pay attention. She knows what she's doing. Oh, she doesn't. She isn't. <laughs> right now. Oh, look, she's a nine. So that's all right. It's okay. We'll see. And then let's see where these beasties go. On a twenty. Oh, they are last. They are so last. Okay. Let me just uh, put them in. And they got a four with their bonus. So, yes. Um, oh, and do descending. Thunk. All right, so now we are at the start of our turn, and it is Clue. You've got the moves. Yep. Yeah, I'm just going to try and shoot the one that's down. Uh, actually, I'm going to just use Favored by the Gods and okay. add 2d4 to that. I have 13. 13. That does hit. I do 8 piercing damage. Alright, to the one on the ground? Yeah. Describe um, how you take it out. Just after it just got totally just <laughs> wrecked by our. <laughs> yeah. Our it, kind of like it did. Rock another arrow. Just like starts straight into its eyes and just go. Not your best day, is it? And just like let it loose and just <laughs> pierce it like in the beach and just like blow the uh, uh, back end of its head out. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, who's up next? Um, Hibara, you are up next. No. And the wow. other one now. Okay. I don't think a 10 hit. No, just missed by one. Just by one. They're pretty squishy, these guys. Um, yeah, it goes flying by, but because it's so startled of what happened to its friend, it's a, it's got an adrenaline boost. So it manages to kind of like <laughs> barely, barely dodge out of your way. Yeah. Uh, Gorko, I guess, is up next. Um, and so he's going to squeeze past you guys, uh, and he is going to fire his short bow at the one that's left. Ooh. 
why can't I roll like this when I'm playing as my player? <laughs> why? I, Elizabeth couldn't hit for shit in the last game, and now I'm like hitting you guys left and right. Okay, well, also Gorko is hitting really good. All right, yeah. So um, he uh, crits this thing. Uh, it just like lands in one of its eyes, and it just like screams out in in agony, like what the hell? So, uh, and then he's gonna use his uh, disengage as a bonus action and go back by Mara. Okay, <laughs> so, <laughs> and that is his move. Felvar, you are up next. Okay, Felvar's gonna come forward a little in line here with fellow spellcaster mm-hmm. and firing a firebolt. That Ooh. will hit. Nice. Mm, very nice. Yeah, it takes a body blow. You can hear the thunk, uh, and you hear almost like an exhalation uh, as uh, the firebolt hits it, uh, and it seems to almost be winded. It's taken. It's still up. It's still flying, but it does not look good. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Mara. All right. I can't see shit. <laughs> so Mara leaves baby. All right, Mara. I have to move forward because I have he- regular human vision. So one, two, Can I just <laughs> three. The Mara, there it is. Just there it is there. over there. This, this three, direction. Four. Oh. It's, it's there. Five. <laughs> six. I can't make an attack. So I'm going to stay right there. But I can see something now. Yay. <laughs> very good. Very good. Um, excellent. So then uh, it's the dark mantle. And it is going to. You guys are pretty far away from it. So it's going to have to fly first to get to you. So oh, no. one, two, three, four. <laughs> going to get to the nearest one and it's going to try to crush you by sort of like uh it clings normally to caverns and stuff so it's going to try to put its leathery bits on your face and and crush your head um so it is a oh of course it's near me fuck you leathery Um, thing 12 no all right so yes so no. <laughs> yeah, you manage. You see it coming at you. You're like, I can see it, and then you go, Ah! You have to duck out of the way because it's coming right no, for you. Away, no way! No way! <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, it's standing. Uh, yeah, it's right in front of Mara. So um, great. We're back to Clue. Run up behind it and stab it with his uh, rip here. Okay. Oh yeah, that hits. Seven damage. Yeah, it, you just take a big chunk out of it. Like it is um, starting to lose its ability to stay in flight um, after you take your rapier and just hack one, uh, most of one of its wings off. Nice. All right, Hibara. gonna move over here and try to blast it a 20 oh yeah <laughs> yep go ahead and describe and an go ahead and tell me how you do it exactly like the tentacle but this time the whole squid <laughs> yeah. and, and once again clue is in the middle of an exploding creature he's got yeah. like squid on him <laughs> He's got beautiful skin from the exfoliation, though, of those little fishes, though. And, and, where he, but it made him even more green. And now he's got more guts on him. Plus some sewer stuff. Oh. He smells terrible, by the way. Wait, no, I'm getting covered in guts, too. And you I? are. Did... This time, no, no, you're getting covered. Thelvar's <laughs> covered. You're covered. Clue's covered. Gorko is about the yeah. only one who's not, so. <laughs> Definitely need to go to the Temple of Beauty after this one. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, all right, so um, you've got a, a dragon sort of eyeing you up. Not quite sure if you're friend or foe or what's happening, but they're very, the dragon looks very happy. Uh, so she, How big is the dragon? It's just a, a young brass dragon. So, I mean, it's massive, but it's not a full-size dragon yet. Where's the dragon? Uh, Greetings, she... young dragon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she just... Give me a dragon! Are you okay? Come to you mommy. Come to mommy. Oh, Shut up! Come you. to mommy. Yes. Come to me. Come to mommy. I'm... I'm... Blue just runs up to Mara. <laughs> They're dragons. They're smarter than you. Don't belittle them. Come to mommy. I was... Uh, I, I'm... I'm trying to do like a th sort of a lisp of a... I'm not quite sure I'll have to work on my dragon accent. Um... But uh, I've I've been hurt by these falling rocks. If you have uh, anything to help heal me, I would be very grateful. I guess heal the word. Oh, okay. No, Goku has potions. Come, oh. come, murder baby, give him potions. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. basic potion. I don't have these all the stuff memorized all the time. Is that one d four plus two? Uh. Potion of healing. Just do a quick here. I can look uh, it up. It's in the compendium. Uh, it is two d four plus two. Oh, two d four plus two. Okay, so I said one d four. It was close. It just you know, it, you until you DM. It, you, well, I guess when you play, you know your player and know your stuff. But I uh, just the amount of stuff to know in D and D as a DM mm -hmm. is in like it's bonkers. There's mm -hmm. just so much to know. Um, but I'll roll it for your potion there. And so, yeah, it recruits yeah. um, the green, uh, sorry, the brass dragon uh, picks, perks up a lot. And she says, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I do appreciate it. I know what an honor it is to, to, um, you know, save a dragon. Indeed it is. is. We're just glad oh, yes, we of could course. be here to help. It's the most important Shut thing up, you can Mara. do in the uh, world. Mara. We're the most we're the most precious things on this planet. I mean, you're a brass dragon, so eh, I, yeah, I guess you're pretty dragon. important. But I'm a I'm a dragon. I'm a dragon, which is is the best thing ever. The best. You're thing such ever. a pretty girl. You're so I'm brass, pretty. Though. I love you're not you. even bronze. You're not even on the tier Shut list. Up, she you. starts to like look at you with a little bit of stank in her eye, like. He Mara is... starts kicking, <laughs> kicking Clue in the shin. Shut up! She says, I wouldn't expect the Shut up. I wouldn't expect all humanoids to understand how amazing we are. It's okay. It's, forgive him the... for his ignorance. They no, are, no, they are pretty. No, they no, are no. arrogant. They might be lucky. <laughs> you are the prettiest girl to ever pretty, oh, thank and you, you can bite him all you want. Oh, thank and you. And I will give you treat him. <laughs> A seventeen. For him. Well, maybe not. Would let but but you are know, indeed a noble, type, right? Jeff. Um, so sorry. Uh, seventeen would let um Hibara uh, know what? The breath type. Um, I, I let me. I can check uh, of a brass dragon. Um, the breath type. I can look that up really quick. It's not part of her thing uh, in the, her stats, but I can find it out pretty easily by looking. It's fire, isn't it? Um, I actually don't do a whole lot of dragon stuff, so I don't have that stuff memorized yet. Adult. Mara just wants to be the dragon's Mara friend, dragon. and, and also chromatics. if the dragon does clue bodily harm, it will be the best thing ever. Young black, young <laughs> black, adult black. Oh, I've got to go to brass, blue, green. See, I remember my my color dragon. I don't remember my metallic dragon. Yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, young brass. Lightning, uh, brass, fire. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you were fire. right. She she knew it okay. and she was right. See, that's why I just assume mm -hmm. bite him. <laughs> bite him. You, if you bite him, you could do damage. If you blow fire on him, it won't do shit. Bite him. Oh, well, I, I do thank you. Thank you very much for the potion of healing and for keeping those horrible little squiddy things off of me. They are very terrible. Yes, they are. Now bite the thing <laughs> that is all slimy. Bite him. Bite him. He's mean. <laughs> bite him. I, I don't know that that's point, the I highest of manners. Horrible. <laughs> that's true. He smells terribly. I think he would make me more ill. Oh, she true. sniffs at him, kind of like. You mind coming damage. with us, and you can bite him later. <laughs> oh well, I do appreciate you all uh, saving me. That is so wonderful of you, and I don't know if I can 
make it through the rest of this tunnel. I guess she can. Yeah. Um, you should come with us. Coming with us will be fun. Okay. Now, um, uh, Thelvar and Clue, can you please uh, roll me a, a history check or an arcana check? Uh, either of those I will work. Really bad. Both. Ooh, nice, um, guys. I don't know. Yeah, so... Yeah. A... Mm -hmm. Go well, ahead. Kivara was just about to ask the dragon. The little... Little dragon, why why are you under this city? How did you get here? Okay, I will come back to that in absolutely two seconds. I'm just going to remind Thelvar okay. and Clue of what they know, which is... I was just that, wondering if that was relevant to it, their It will role. be. Well, it, it will be, actually, um, in okay. terms of, like, the uh, what what why she got down here and what she can do. Uh, so Waterdeep is actually... You guys know that Waterdeep is protected by a magical ward called um Agarian's dragon ward and it keeps dragons from entering the city they had enough attacks from like armies and stuff uh, uh using dragons that they actually created a, a magical ward that covers the whole city and you guys work out that because you're so far underground i mean it doesn't make sense like dragons usually fly so it doesn't go you know that deep under the city but you know that um because of this ward um, Dashaba is safe here. She won't have any effects from the ward. But if you try to bring her out of the fissure the way you guys came, um, then she's going to cry and... Uh, sorry, she's, she's not going to be able to follow you. Um, she's not going to be able to get through the... Um, up back through the main part of the city. That's like just going to be physically impossible for her. Uh, so, um, and she says to Hibara... That, um, yes, so, um, you see, there was a, a, a terrible, terrible green dragon that attacked my, m me and my siblings. They, this horrible green dragon drove me away from my mother's territory down the Sword Coast. Um, and, and so I flew away and I, I came here, um, and I, uh, I saw a, a hole, a cavern where I could hide. Uh, but it's it's right behind me. It's all of the trouble. Maybe if you guys can help me clear. Um, I mean, I can come with you, but uh, I also know I can find my way out through the back rubble this way. Of course, we will help you. But I I I I I really appreciate you guys saving my life very much, and and I'm 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 a little bit lonely and a little bit lost. So. I mean, I already lost my siblings because of that stupid green dragon. Would you, would you make sure that that you you oh. don't leave me, that you don't abandon me down here in the dark? Of course not. Okay, thank you. We would not do something like that to such a noble thing as yourself. Oh, mm. I know I'm a charming personality. Mm. The dragon was going so crazy. <laughs> she like puts her head down, accepts your pets on her, you know, like on her uh, scaly dragon nose. Oh, <laughs> you're such a cute girl. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, Gorku runs up and, like, yeah, me and Murder Mommy, we both love you. We think you're so pretty. <laughs> it's Gonna take some effort to actually get you into the city, but guess we can see if we can get something to work. Uh, all right, yeah. Need. Just don't, just don't abandon me. You, you saved my life, and so I do owe you a debt, which is the best debt to have is to a dragon. We're the best people this to have debt. Very true. Mm. Also, can you not call him yet? Mm mm. Oh, uh, let me check. And technically, she is our responsibility now. I mean, I mean you save a life, there are life to protect now. She, I mean, that's um, the way things go. She, even with a polymorph, though, she's, she's still a dragon dragon, so the ward would still um, apply to the city. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just noticed that in this uh, manual, they tell me, like, how she can't get out of the tunnels, but I don't see where it tells me how she can. So we'll have to like work that out between us at the end of the session. But, um, I mean, 
worst yeah. case scenario we set up a nice place inside the tunnels and then we can like visit her once in a while yeah i think mm -hmm. what i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh, say is that if you guys spend some time clearing out this rubble she'll be able to find her way back because where she went before was um she got this far basically you know into the fisher mm -hmm. caverns or the caverns that the fisher opened up and revealed um and if you help her get out um she she will appreciate that but she's gonna uh, make you guys promise to meet her somewhere outside the city and that you really can't abandon her so yeah of course yes, uh, we'll we'll never abandon you. okay um but we don't have to do that like right now because right now she's um yes uh her name I can, I can you see the name of her on the screen there um when you zoom in on her uh, i guess the bar is currently in the way i'll move her a little bit but do you see dashaba under her name no. All right, let me see no. if I can do the token show nameplate. Yeah, show nameplate. Advanced. I don't know. That, it says show nameplate, so it should be showing it, but maybe it doesn't. But um, Okay, her name is Dashaba. Um, all right, am I pronouncing that correctly? I'm sorry, Dab Shaba. D A B S H A B A H. Dab Shaba. The, gold, the brass wormling dragling, dragon she is. Well, you guys have picked up two friends. Um, yes. Uh, and there's not much else that you see in the room. Nothing of interest, nothing that sparkles. So, um, oh, um, she also... Mine yeah, goes over to Zara. What? For a second. And whispers, Barra, he's a fire does dragon. not whisper back. You, want, <laughs> you might want to ask and see if she will eat. Because aren't dragon scales some kind of important to you weird magic -y peoples? I mean... I know humans like them, but... You don't Dragons are just animals, the same as you or me to me. That doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I, I was just asking. I was curious. I, I mean... I don't go off and... I don't know things. I'm just a monk. Um, she away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, uh, Dabshaba says, though, um, are you human with the other human who went by here earlier? Uh, not oh, no, humans. Them, uh, Sorry. One human. Creatures. Them. Yes. Um, well, there was, there was just the one. Hmm. I well, hid from her. Hmm. This was before the Dark Mantles came. I hid from her because... I was worried she would try to kill me. Oh, I'm sure she Why were you worried? Oh, humans are always trying to kill dragons. That is true. I mean, generally not the metal ones. They're generally cool. Well, I don't know. Some humans aren't so friendly. <laughs> Some humans were just meanie heads. I mean... <laughs> Dragon parts could be expensive, so because that's the reason. Well, we're very precious. We're they were the most precious beings on the planet, as I've already explained to you. Yeah, but <laughs> what's yeah, that in gold pieces exactly? Clue, I will kick you again. <laughs> Stop it. Try me, Mara. Fucking try me. <laughs> Clue, stop Boy. disparaging the dragon. Don't. Don't even try. I'll right. bite you. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Let me see something here. I think. All right. No, I was struggling a little bit. I think I was in a little bit of the wrong. There's two, I've got two games now with two different creatures and two different other things, and that's why I was struggling before. But that's okay. It all worked out. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm just looking to see. I'm going to put in a token here because they, for some reason they didn't give me one and I need a character uh, to be in the room to represent someone. Okay. 
I am steady, set, set, set. Okay, so you guys are gonna go, uh, yeah, what, uh, what are your plans? Are you gonna continue down into the tunnel, um, through the east, or the, the opening, um, that's not got debris in it? Oh, I'm yep. sorry. Um, uh, yes, as a, cl a clue, I think you can now see, there's a whole pile of, of things toward the, the bottom of the room, isn't there? That you can see? Uh, I see some rubble mm -hmm. over here, but that's it. Um, oh, that's weird. Uh, okay. Talking about this rubble? Yes, I actually, no, yes, uh, sorry. They've got two things next to each other, and I uh, mixed up where they were. So that's that's fine. We're, we're all cool. Uh, I'm just going to put... Uh, Right, right. Uh, never mind. It's it's. There's some rubble. Yeah, you go past it. There's. I, I misread the two things. I thought they were together, but it's actually the next room. No worries. Never uh, mind. To the next room we can. All go. right. Uh, well, I assume we cleared out rubble so our dragon oh, yeah. friend could leave. Yes. Uh. Well, she's happy to come with you now if you want, for a little while at least. So, do you want her to come with? If she oh, wants yeah. to. Okay, yeah, well, she'll join you. She's safe down here. There's, she can't be harmed at all from... Uh, I'm just going to use a, a random PC then. This won't be right, but uh, for some reason they didn't give me tokens representing it, and you guys can't see the text, so... All right. Yes, as you move through the tunnel, you come up to where you're going to be next... <laughs> All right, good, Bara. I think you were there, Mara. You were next to Clue, and now you've got two more friends with you. You've got <laughs> Gorko and Dabshaba, who is bringing up the rear. She's she's mostly healed. She's a little bit kind of still um, a little bit uh, limping a bit, but much better. Oh, All she's right. limping a bit. Well, so um... I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Boom. Oh, nice. All right. Well, she gives you kind of like a little cuddle on the face. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and she's, yeah, back to, she's back to 100% health. All right. Uh, this, as you walk in, um, you guys are, the cavern again opens up. And this crumbling chamber that you see before you is dominated by an altar uh, against the far wall above which hangs some sort of construct metal work mechanism ending in a massive maul. Um, like imagine a hammer with two ends, just but it's a hammer at both ends. It's a sort of like the flat bit at both ends. I had to look up what a maul was, so it's more for me than anyone. Uh, the wall to the left of the altar has fallen into a um, spread rubble across the floor. And on the floor, near the altar, is a golden device resembling an orrery housing. Um, now, I had to also look up an orrery. So before I go on, does anyone want me to describe what an orrery is? Isn't that just a model solar system? Yes. Yeah. It's like a small mechanical, well, you can kind of twist it up. Um, but although this one doesn't look like a solar system, but it is basically the same principle for what this is. Um, the device. And this was golden, oh, right? Yes, um, a golden device resembling an orrery housing. The device is battered and falling apart, revealing exposed gears and spokes, with its exterior pieces and plating scattered across the floor. Splayed on the ground next to the device is the corpse of a dwarf. Dwarf. In the southwestern corner of the room stands a muscular human female dressed in the livery of the deep uh, si sorry the deep water city watch um, she stood there with her eyes closed and she breathed deeply as though resting hmm i think we found sharon and i don't think things look very good is <clears throat> gonna blast the clock the orrery um okay uh all right yeah go ahead and uh do an attack 
Okay. Uh, as you do, um, you see that it moves across the floor, but you also see a flash of magic. Uh, almost like a little force field that um, comes up as it gets near the surface of the orrery. And it looks like it moved, but it doesn't look that much more damaged. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I just quickly have a look at the room, see if anything in particular pops out? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to enroll perception for me? Okay. 24. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see that on the altar, there are runes. Um, and I'm trying to see if there's anything else you can detect. And the other thing that you notice is, uh, well, obviously you notice that someone standing asleep is very weird. This is not a normal mm -hmm. behavior for someone. You don't think she's acting, she's taking a nap um, in that way. Um, other than... The runes on the altar, I don't see anything else, other than what I've described already, that would, um, uh, that you would see. Okay. okay, so I guess I'm yelling at the woman. Hey, you! Hey, hey, hey! Okay. Just trying to grab her attention. If you touch her, um, yeah, she, her eyes open. Um, go ahead and roll me an insight check. Yeah, she doesn't really look at you in a very fixed way. She looks at you in, with very unfocused gaze, and she draws her sword. Uh, go ahead and everyone click on your token and roll me initiative. Um, get sergeant. No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all kill it before it gets to me, please. Well, At least it was only initiative. Kill her. We're supposed to save her. Yeah, you guys well, can do. To... Um, you can do non-lethal damage. Just to, as a reminder. Um, I don't understand the concept. <laughs> <laughs> I think your friends can explain it to you. <laughs> oh, okay. Excellent. All right. Um, and what did she roll? She just rolled a five. Okay. Yeah, so she's a little bit dozy coming out of the uh, sleep, but um, yeah, descending. Okay. All right. Um, and there's one other thing. Attack anyone in the room. It gets its own account. All right, so I'm just gonna. Oh, sorry, I've got to add one more thing. Okay, and that yeah, goes on ten. All right, uh, let me reorder this to get it in the right order. Uh, yeah, so Hibara, you are actually, uh, yeah, uh, uh, all the way across the room. So uh, you can go ahead and do your action, whatever you want to do. We're supposed to be finding this woman, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are actually you paid to, is... you're paid to rescue her. Okay. And you said the Ori is over here, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird that they don't. Let me see if I can find a an a uh, uh, token for it because I don't really see one. But I'll see if I can get one. It, it kind of, but it is by the altar. Uh, it got blown. Uh, so the dwarf's. This is what it, the dwarf's body. I guess is somewhere in this area. It's got uh, a a thing that says dwarf's body that I can see. But uh, it looks like he has basically been blown back uh, from the altar, and uh, the orrery is kind of like skittered now closer to this part of the room. get up the token for that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that'll do. 
I've got a thing of it. I got a picture of it, but I don't have a token for it. So. All right. Let's see. Perfect. Uh, yeah. She's going to go over there and what should I roll to investigate this thing? Um, yeah, just go ahead and give me an investigation check. Investigation? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that a one or a seven? Oh, a one. It was yeah. A one. Like, other than the... F you've seen the fact that it has a very strong protective magic on it, but it is beat to crap. Um, something in this room, like, tried to destroy this thing, and you already saw by experimenting that it can defend itself. Hmm. Well, then, I guess the only option is to smash it okay go ahead all right um you hit it but it again defends against your attack um other than moving it you don't seem to be doing that much more damage to it all right that's my turn okay all right um where did my initiative order go <laughs> what? What? i can't see it it's off my page. You hit it. Oh, it, it vanished for me too. What'd you do with it? I, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to. If I did, you ate it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, there. It's back. There. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I could do that. I didn't know I had that power. <laughs> she has the power. Okay. Um. So yep, yeah, that's Habara's turn, and uh, Thelvar, you're up next. Okay, you said there was runes around the altar? Yep, there are. Uh, can I read what they say? Yeah, you can go ahead uh, and do uh, arcana or religion check. Either of those would work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this... Inspiration. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good use of it. Very good use better. of inspiration. Very good use of inspiration. Um, yeah, so... Um, oh, yeah, because I should say, because Uthelvar used one last time, there, Uthelvar got some more... I can't give you guys more inspiration if you don't use it, so... Uh, no, I used inspiration. Oh, Thelvar yeah, you did. I did. I have three. Yeah, uh, did you do... A, yeah, well, Thelvar did. Okay. <laughs> well, you have to decide. Vara has a special choice. Which god, which power is she going to call on? But I know, but Thelvar yeah. had there uh, uh, still had his... Uh, he had a new inspiration after last yeah. night. The long rest. Um, yeah. Vara yeah, has yeah. three. Yes. For some bizarro reason. But you have to decide, are you calling on the powers of good or neutral or evil when you use them? So, um, right. You are able to determined by looking at the runes on the altar that um, they they don't connect to any known deity that you can identify but the symbols associate them with a power of destruction and ruin um, and the, here you can notice that the magic of the altar and the magic of this gearwork maul um, that's standing over you is faltering but once would have been capable of destroying even incredibly powerful magical items. Uh, um, oh, also, any character who succeeds above 12, yep. Um, ah, yes. Uh, you also can tell, because you rolled... Uh, oh, no, no, you have to do an investigation check. Sorry, someone... I, I read too far ahead. <laughs> it's like if, you were, if you're interested more in how this became destroyed, uh, you guys, someone can do an investigation check to try to determine how these ruins uh, runes tie in with the ruin uh, that you are looking at in front of you. So that's what you were able to discern. Mm, uh Anything else you want to do? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, 
clue. You've got uh, um, a, an alert uh, woman, the sergeant, looking fuzzy-eyed at you and uh, drawing her sword. Uh, Clue's just gonna go, uh, I'll keep her busy, guys. Just take it as quick, please. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the dodge action. Oh, okay. Very good. Don't. Everyone has left me. <laughs> No, no, um, no, you've got Gorko and the dragon are right by you guys, are right by you, so, um, she's got the feet up gallery. <laughs> I mean, um, sometimes Mara is the peanut gallery, so, <laughs> um, okay. I mean, it, it worked. Yes, let me just, up. Uh, uh, sorry, get this, uh, pop out this character sheet so I can, uh, do what I need to do. Oh yeah, she's got a big old long sword, don't she? Okay. Um, she's got the wrong name on her because again, they didn't give me the right PC for this, so I'm just having to use somebody else. But um, oh yes, yeah, surprise! I'm sorry, it's a the surprise's turn. Okay. So the way this works is. Oh no, you got surprise one more turn. can't see me. No, it's a it's a got one more turn. It's fine. All right, so yeah, Clue, she sees you. Um, she's dazed, but her eyes sort of like focus on you. And she pulls out her longsword and reaches out to, uh, with two hands to swing at your head. Oh, I like this surprise. And she's, I don't like the surprise. <laughs> she, it's okay. <laughs> she crit fails, clearly. Um, the state she's in, she's just waking up. Just like with Mara and the coffee, she's not ready for her day right away. She needs a couple <laughs> swings at you to, to really, <laughs> to, uh, really uh, get going. So yeah, she, she totally whiffs. You're able to, well, you dodged anyway, right? So, because um, you were doing the dodge action. Yep. So yeah, she was rolling at disadvantage anyway, and she got a crit anyway, crit one. So, um, okay. Oh yes, and then oh. uh, yes. Next, it's up is uh, Mara. Oh, and I kind of forgot. Well, Gorku, I don't think is gonna attack that lady over there, and the dragon is too far away at the moment. So, uh, yeah. Um, Mara, what would you? What would Mara like to do? Mara looks at her two duckies and just goes, "Stay here." Don't go anywhere. Even if you want to help, just stay right here. Okay, murder mom. I feel like this will be entertaining to watch. <laughs> and Mara just kind of get slowly creeps forward so she can see what the fuck is happening. <laughs> but she can't see worth a shit. <laughs> I'm not cheating this time. No, um, I can tell you that uh, you can tell that from the sounds of it, you can hear... A uh, clue like was talking to somebody and you heard like uh, a, a sound of a sword uh, bang off the wall straight uh, from where you are keep going left and that if you call that in front of you that's that's kind of where you are all right so now I can see what's going on okay. and all right who's the bad guy <laughs> and Mara just kind of stands there and goes okay so who's the bad guy <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna just stand here and figure out who's attacking who. <laughs> okay. Um. Right. Um. Then next up is Hibara. All right. We smashed this, and we blasted this. Hibara's gonna call out the worm. Dragon child. Come help me melt this thing. <laughs> okay. Um, and breaking it more might not be a good idea. Uh, I Mara will... just looks at Hibara going, you're going to, you're going to demand my child do something. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with a stick. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say, I'll, I'll treat it like a turn-based thing, um, even though she's not, uh, Dab Shaba is not in the turn order. Um, how far can I go? 30 feet. Okay. Or fly 15. Or what was that? Fly 60? Okay, yeah, she's gonna sort of like step into the room and uh, flap her wings and she's just gonna fly right over to you. Um, and say, 
what 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 do you want me to put fire um fire on? Ibarra points at the orrery. Uh, all right. So um, Dab Shaba looks at it. She's like, I don't think you want to destroy this thing. This is this is very powerful magic. I think it could be quite valuable. Ha! <laughs> Good girl. Ibarra just looks at it, but it's if you say curse, I'm evil magic. I don't think so. I think it defends itself if it feels it's being attacked. But it hasn't attacked you, has it? <laughs> I mean, it's defended itself, but it hasn't attacked you. Clues <laughs> just start dodging the attacks. Uh, guys! <laughs> yeah, I know, this is hilarious. <laughs> He's off in the corner. I was like, what is this thing over here? What about these runes? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. I don't think I could. Bar remains unconvinced. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so uh, any that was uh, you're not going to move or anything. You're going to hang out by the orrery and the altar. Yep. I mean, she was she was looking and she's continuing to investigate it. Okay. But yeah, that that didn't that didn't work out. Okay. With that uh... roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Velvar. Alright, Delvar's going to attempt the investigation roll. Delvar's quite good at investigating usually, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the sound of like fighting going on in the back or whatever, but yeah. Um, you look around and um, you know, you're, you're just kind of seeing um, like dis destruction and things are disheveled, but you, you're not getting like a a story from it at all. You're not being able to pick anything else up from this right now. I can't concentrate with all this noise. Can't you fight more quietly? <laughs> Stop being... <laughs> How dare you? All right, next up is Clue. Once again, taking the dodge action. Really hard. Helping people figure some stuff out. <laughs> All right. Um, so now, because um, the the sergeant is awake, uh, let's see. So, gee, the gear work above the altar uh, starts to animate. It's it's basically kind of like an explain expanding clockwork arms um, that start to reach out, and it gets to make two attacks per round. So since Ibarra and Thelvar and the dragon are there, uh, I am going to roll a... Oh, I'll get, two of you will get hit. So first off, let me just figure out who doesn't get hit by hitting a 1d4 minus 1. Uh, okay, so it was 1, 2... Sorry, you guys can't see that. Um, it was... Ah, no! 1... Hibara was one, the dragon was two, Thalvar was three. So um, Deshaba doesn't get hit. Uh, so right now it gets... Uh, yeah, you see these clockwork arms um, reach out of the wall above the altar. And the first one comes at Habara, And it rolls a 18. That definitely hits. Hit. Yep. And it's going to do... Uh, six damage. Next up is Thelvar. It's going to make an attack against you. And that is a nine. Um, but a nine, I'm sure, it does not hit. You managed to dodge no. out of the way. You see it hit Hibara, and that uh, trips you or uh, notices your attention. There's a word I'm looking for. Uh, trips your attention or whatever to... I'm losing my English as I learn German. Um, to <laughs> dodge out of the way uh, and, and avoid this um, thing that you noticed is pretty beat up already, but um, it's it's still attacking you now. All right, so that is its turn. And next up is the sergeant. The sergeant is uh, hopefully is kind of shaking off the, um, the days... Uh, you know, she still looks unfocused, but she's going to go at you with her long sword again with two hands. And yeah, she, I don't think a 12 hits, right? 
Uh, clue? Uh, 12, nope. Nope, yep. Uh, swings at you, it's closer this time, but still a miss. Uh, right, then next up is Mara. Mara sees that Clue's su suffering, so... <laughs> um... One... Can I move? One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Um, who's giving her, uh, so it's, he's trying not to hurt the he's sergeant, He's just, right? at this point, he's just dodging. He hasn't attacked her once. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to rescue her, so non-lethal attacks if you're going to try and incapacitate her. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um. All right, well. Uh, can I try to just, like, knock her out? Uh, well, I mean, you can, uh, do an attack on her and see if it's enough to knock her out. So non-lethal damage basically works the same as regular damage. You wear them down, but instead of killing them, they just go unconscious rather than going unconscious and dying. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and use an unarmed attack, because that way I'm not using anything pointy. Sure. Uh, that unfortunately does not hit. She is still in her uh, livery of her. She's kind of like got her city armor and stuff on her. So, uh, All right. well, she's... that just probably just made her mad. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got. Well, now she you got two things uh, to. Um, she's got two things to hit. So. <laughs> she can okay. Choose. Well, <laughs> Mara looks at Clue and goes, "Well, now she's mad at both of us." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up is Hibara. I'm gonna need my grizzle token. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Oh, you know what? I think he's on the last. Oh, you know, I can get another one. Um, or no, I can probably go to the last page. That's not so difficult to do. I'm just trying to remember if I uh, thought to um, bring him, uh, bring Grizzle over, or if I I've left him. On... Well, it's alright. It's gonna take a few seconds now because this stupid roll twenty is really taking a long time tonight to switch between the. Uh, maps. Oh no, there he is. I see him. You hurt my baby, I hurt you. <laughs> Mark you calls from the other side. <laughs> Gold dragons are fire based. It's fine. It's fine. I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sorry. I, I've got the uh, token and ah, no! Wrong map. Wrong map. Go to the player's map. Apologies, all. Sorry to keep you waiting. Anybody know how to my when my um it doesn't matter, uh, my thing to go from like fifty percent to scale. My little scale thing used to yeah. be long, and then for some reason it just zooped up like um a guy who'd walked into a cold pond. <laughs> makes sense. Uh, okay. No, I don't know how. To... <laughs> how how did you do that? I don't know. It's just like right next. They're right next to each other. Like so. Sorry. Like a someone with a penis. I should say to correct myself. Um, it just sort of shrunk up like this little thing, and I can't make it. I, I can go up and down, but I can't. Like it's not long anymore. It won't <laughs> extend. It's just, <laughs> just like a micro scale. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's your, uh, oh, there's your grizzle. Does. All right. Uh, yeah, you've got him, right? You see him? Yep. I put him where he's going to be summoned. Okay. So that should hit one of the arms. Oh, okay. Like whatever arm is right here. Okay. Um, and uh, is, it has to do as, as DC save. Is that right? Yep. Or how does it work? Dexterity. Oh, this is going to be a DC super dex save. Interesting. I don't think this thing has dexterity. It's stuck on a fucking wall. So I'm going to say, because it, it literally doesn't give me a dex. I don't have a stat block for this. I just have some uh, numbers in a, in a paragraph, and it's against a wall. So, um, yeah, uh, you can go ahead and <laughs> it was uh, nine damage. Nine damage. Excellent. Okay. Have to... Also, technically, the Ori as well, but yeah, it's I don't think it's gonna happen. No, it protects yeah. itself again. All right, and then he's gonna spit. Okay. Twenty-three hit this arm. Yeah, it does. 
five damage. All right, nice. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely see that um, the already damaged workings of it are, uh, are, are again, you've, you've made, a, you made a difference. It seems to be kind of slowing down a little bit. Good. Uh, right, uh, Thelvar. Okay, Thelvar's still got a crackling sword in his hand, yeah, so... Yeah, still charged up. <laughs> it is. Uh, let's see if we can hit the thing. Yep, go ahead. Do your damage. Right, so the rapier does nine and five lightning damage. Nice. Oh, wow. You so guys are 14. really taking chunks out of it at this point. Um, and also get an offhand attack. Yeah. That one does it. Probably. Yeah. Yes. All right, but nicely done. Very nicely done. You're, you've taken it down significantly. You beat the crap out of this metal thing sticking out of the wall. Awesome. <laughs> um, Clue, what are you going to do? Uh, uh, you just killed my kill. Uh, Barra. Uh, Barra. Uh, Mara, you can take care of this for a second, right? I'm just going to run up here. <laughs> just... <laughs> I guess uh, the sergeant gets an attack of opportunity. Okay, yeah. Do, 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 do. As he runs away, Mark calls him a chicken. <laughs> I'm going to stop the other thing. Jesus. She manages to slash you across the back as you walk, uh, as, uh. You, as, you do, as you run away. Ha! Uh, how much damage do I take? Six. Oof. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna attack the arms with my rib here. Okay. Uh, just 25. Just 25? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, that's what I roll. Yeah. Just 25 <laughs> hits, yeah. <laughs> I do uh, <clears throat> damage. Yeah, uh, you see from the out of the corner of your eye, Habara and Felvar, like, Clue comes running over, and he just... Uh, comes with his rapier and he sort of just jams it right up into the gear works and pulls out some guts and it just goes eh, 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 and it stops. Hmm. And um, mm -hmm. for my bonus action, I am just going to healing words myself. Okay. Four. And that's my turn. All right. Well, that's over now, so you can take that out of the turn order. Uh, take it out. There we go. Uh, yeah, so then it's the sergeant. Mara, you are left. And so she is going to uh, continue to swing her big old long sword. And I take it a 16 does hit. It does. All right, that's a uh, 10 damage on you. God fucking damn it. Blue. At this point... <laughs> um Ma you said how much? Ten? Ten. Yep. God, Mars at three. Alright, so at this point Gorku is like, Don't you hit my murder mommy? And he's gonna enter into combat as well. No! Stay back! No, no, baby, don't no, I'm okay. I'll be fine. Just stay back. Girl, this is all your fucking fault. How is this my fault? So he's gonna take his uh, turn one, two, three, four, five to uh, run across the room uh, to try start to try to save. It. No, no, God. <laughs> All right. Um, God. Uh, where to? Now it's my turn. Yeah, yeah. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Slowly bleeding on the floor. <laughs> and the blood dripping. It's just a flesh boat. Uh, Mara's a tiny bit pissed. Uh, takes her quarter staff and goes, Really? We're going to do that. Hits her. Not uh, that, that misses. Yes, unfortunately. Like, it's. It, I'll tell you, the armor class is 15. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. The armor class is 17. Ah, fuck. Oh, damn. Me. Yep. Uh, so you have to whack a bit harder. Um, okay. Well, I am I, I am at three, so okay. It, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm staying 
my dot strat was working fine. <laughs> to my You're an up to you ran away. <laughs> Talks upon your family. Top of the order, uh, Hibara. You're up. I'm actually kind of sad that we're not broadcasting this because <laughs> we will I've later. Been saving this. We will later. I'm recording this. it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Grizz is gonna move. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Go. Oh, Grizz is gonna move right to Mara. And Mara's gonna say, Mara, do you trust us? <laughs> yes. All right. So, Grizzle and Mara are going to teleport. Oh. <laughs> one, one, one square too far. Going to teleport, so move Mara right there. Oh. All right, sorry, Hell I grabbed yeah. it. To there? Yep. Excellent. Nice. And Elf Lady's going to need to make a deck save. Oh, okay. Uh, only 13, I... so she'll probably be fine. Yeah, let me. I think I've got the stat block. I can roll right from there if I get the right character up. Um, dex. All right, a dex save. I'll just mm -hmm. have. I kind of have to. All right, I'll do it this way. I don't have a really dexterity. But she failed. Oh, she did. Big time. Okay, then she takes six fire damage. Oh, okay. All right, she's taking six damage. I think that's her first damage of the night. Uh, did you hit yep. her? Did you hit her, Mara? You didn't, did you? No, I okay. didn't. She's pretty she tough to hit. She beat the shit out of me. Yeah, that's true. All right. That was also my only my bonus action. Oh, nice. Versus action. Okay. And so yeah, move over and gonna heal Mara because she looks like shit. It's okay. about to die. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tiny bit. <laughs> Oh, uh, a tiny bit. Uh, uh, a little less feels better. Oh, now you're slightly better, at least. Oh. You're less likely to die in one hit. Yes. Pretty much. Stupid oh my ones. god. Oh. Oh. All right. That's so, my turn. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. Yes. Uh. uh Thelvar is up next. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Thelva, although has so far been unable to discern for definite, has a theory of what was going, what went wrong here, so he's going to try and do an investigation check on the Ori. Okay. Please, 14, probably not enough. Um, right, on the Ori, let me pull that. You guys have me looking at five different books. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my player's book. I've got my monster manual. I got the guide up. Um, alter creatures Ori. Um, okay. Uh, let, all right. Let, okay. Um, I wonder if I can show you guys a picture of it now. It might, might help a little bit. So I'll do that. I'll take a, a moment out. Remind me that Desheba is going to enter the round next. She's going to um, start her initiative and do something in the next round. Magic items. Is this the one? Yes. All right. I can show this to you. Uh, show it to everyone. Do you see it now? So that's, Ooh, that's what it pretty. looks like. What you can tell is that it seems to represent the different planes uh, of existence in this mm -hmm. mode. Um, well, now somebody exploded at it. Yeah, it is beat to crap. It is beat to crap. Um, and it looks battered. Um, let's see, what else? I mean, almost as bad as me, but... Hmm. Uh, you can notice that when you're looking at it, it... It almost looks like parts of it, uh, like cracks in it, like hairline cracks, uh, sort of disappear a little bit, even while you're watching it. Very, very small ones. You notice like it's almost starting to heal itself um, from 
from the attacks. You can also tell that Hibara's attacks really didn't do anything. That this damage had to be done by the 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 thing on the altar. Um, the mall on the mm -hmm. altar had to be the thing that did the damage on it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Pretty much what Thel Thelvar's surmised. Mm -hmm. Basically, they tried to destroy it, only it's protected itself, which is what caused everything. <laughs> I can confirm um, that that is exactly what happened. Yes. Question. Yeah. Um, hmm. So because I'm a wanderer, <laughs> should I roll something for this? Uh, for what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Um, let's do oh. a history. A history check? Yeah, let's do a history check on it. Okay. Because it's part of my you might have, um, background. Uh, okay. Let's see what I can tell you based on that. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Uh, um, never mind. Okay. I have shit, so... Okay. okay. Well, yeah. I can also roll religion. Let me roll religion, too. Yeah, okay. Nah, never mind. I know nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um, yes, so that is uh, the Ori. Um, um, and what you can figure out just from, like, without uh, doing any arcana stuff or any more magic, or maybe consulting, this might be something to consult uh, the guild's um, solutions guild. Uh, um, Jarvis might know someone who can get you some more information. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, right. So I think that was Thelvar's turn. Um, Clue, you are up next. Oh, no, no, sorry, uh. Shaba. That's right. Shaba was going to... Uh, to decide to she's kind of had enough of this she's kind of bored um she is going to fly over to the sergeant and she's going to exhale sleep breath on her which is a wormling she can do i'm pretty sure young bra breast wormling dress dragon wormling <clears throat> and the sheriff has to do a con save or fall unconscious for a minute Let's see how she does. And what's their con? Okay. Oh. Um. What the? Is that? She just makes it. Ah! Oh, she just makes it. She gets an 11, and it's a deck save of, uh, con save. DC constitution saving through. Oh, did I look at decks or con? Okay. Yep, unfortunately, it didn't work. But she did try. Uh, so... Uh, yes. Um, she was trying to help you guys out, but mm -hmm. couldn't do anything. Um, so, uh, next up is, uh, Gorku. Gorku's like, oh no! And, uh, reaches into a bag and says, don't die, murder mommy, take this! And he hands you his potion, one of his potions of healing. Uh, Mara. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. So that's a two D four plus two. You can you can roll that for yourself if you want. Um what now? Yeah, um Gorko gave you a potion of healing, so you can roll a two D four and add two more to it. A uh two D four you said? Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so six. Six. Mm-hmm. God, inch your way back to full health. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Almost. Um, the sergeant, uh, I guess, is going to take a. Clue get a turn. I feel like. Oh wait, sorry, you're right, Desheba. I went. You're right. You're clue. Go ahead. Uh, he just took an action to save his mommy anyway, so you're yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. But thank Can you for I reminding me. Further investigate the altar. Just maybe f figure out what's um, uh, affecting the sergeant. Uh, let's see. Let me check what it says. I'm looking to see if it says no there are two there are two ways for her to stop being like this and you haven't done either of them yet uh, so I'm gonna say you can't all, all you can tell is that oh. there is powerful magic in this room you can tell mm -hmm. that um, this entire space 
the the runes are covering uh, the, the magic is in this room here and it's sort of seeping out so okay in that case um, clue has no choice but to try and like just shoot her in the leg okay uh 18 hits yeah the 12 damage oh, of course 18 yeah, uh, she's got a pretty high AC. Um, maybe it would be lower. It doesn't matter now, but um, yeah, okay. So I'm oh, gonna... no, I'm just bitter. I'm oh, just okay. bitter because <laughs> I almost died. Oh, I'm not going to yeah, give you that. Um, <laughs> yes, six, seven, eight, eight, that was 12, you said, in total? Yep. All right, yeah, she's kind of gone down on one knee. She's not going to be able to swing two-handed anymore after this. All right. Um, Gorku already gave his mommy um, his stuff, and now seeing that Clue has run away, she's got a dragon in front of her. Um, she's going to go ahead and take a swing at the dragon that just tried to put her to sleep. With, uh, but only with her, uh, her long sword, but only one handed. Did it? Did it? How come? Not going. Oh wow, she critted. Oh, she takes a huge chunk um, out of uh, yeah, it just was delayed. It's the first one that goes. She takes a huge chunk out of um, out of Deshaba. <coughs> Absolutely huge. Uh, and like just sort of stabs her in her chest, and Deshaba like yeah, sort of like stumbles back, not kind of expecting this human to have that kind of strength. Um, right, that's her turn. Uh, we're now to Mara. Mara goes, my baby! <laughs> and runs. I hate you. Roll 20. You can suck a dick. Um, basically moves again <laughs> to... I can move, I swear. Or not. There we go. Runs back. And this time... Uh, we're gonna do Fury of Blows. We're gonna use the chi, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do quarter staff. Doesn't hit. Doesn't nope. matter. We're gonna go ahead, try that. That does hit. Yep, it does. You also have inspiration too. You can always re you. I know. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you got one hit. Uh, I, uh, one hit takes. All right, she you're takes doing seven. non. -le you're doing non lethal, right? Yes. Tell me when she passes out. <laughs> okay, she is looking. You actually because the last two hits, um, you knock her hard, knock her really, really hard, and she is now um looking like uh, if you knock her on the head one more time, she's gonna go down. It's just gonna take she's the like... one. All right. Uh, you also have a second unarmed attack know. of your first. I... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mara, like, she hears Clue and Mara looks back and goes, I know! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna knock her the fuck out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, Mar she goes down. Down and... goes Frasia. Down goes Frasia. Yeah, she's down. And Mara just, like, and Mara does, a, like, a, watches her go down and then just kind of does a... A, a, a kid, not, not like a I'm gonna hurt you kick, but one of those like yeah. that's for hurting my kid. Kick. <laughs> okay. And then goes over that. and checks on uh, checks on. Uh, I'm calling her baby uh, baby dragon because okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to pronounce yeah. the name. Baby dragon. Felva looks up from the orrery. is like, right, bag of holding, quick, give it here. Oh, <laughs> Mara lifts her up and goes here, throw, and just kind of throws. The body. <laughs> I think she was asking for the bag of holding, not the the body bag. <laughs> okay. Oh, the bag of holding. I have the bag of holding. Yeah. Yes, um, I need it quickly. Oh, takes the bag of holding and chucks it at Thelvar. Grabs it out of the air and just opens it up and just <laughs> basically. As if it's a sack, just puts it over the Orion, traps it inside the bag of holding, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. It goes right inside. Um, it, when you pick it up, nothing happens to you. Um, it goes in without a problem. And it's in, you now have a, a busted up to shit Ori. And, and that, that is some powerful magic 
this and that's all kind of you know right now uh so as um mara uh you know goes over to dashaba um gorku actually has a, a moment to look around the room and he sees in this far corner the crumpled body of the dwarf it's the first time he noticed it coming in the room because he was behind you guys when he did and then all of the stuff was kicking off uh and he rushes over to his former friend and starts crying over his body and he says you were so good to me karen i'm sorry i wasn't here to defend you to I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Just sort of says, I, we, they're not going to leave him down here, right? They're going to come and somebody will come and take him out? Of course they will, little one. I don't I'm have... so sorry that this has happened. We tried to get here as quickly as we could. No, it was my fault. I, I never should have left his side. He told me to stay by him and that big monster got between us and I ran the other way because I was afraid. Oh, do not blame yourself, little one. There was nothing you could have done. He was such a good friend and he was going to teach me magic and he gave me a place to live and now his companions are gone and he's gone and... Can... Can I stay with you guys? Of course, of course. You're and already can... mine, Ducky. You're and already can... mine. You okay. can claim sentient creatures, Mara. <laughs> and we can give you a job in our inn that we're opening soon. And I can also help you learn the magic. That would be really good. It would make Kieran proud to know that the magic he saw in me could keep growing. <laughs> Indeed. And Clue, I will and... kill you. He is mine. <laughs> Gorku comes running over to Mara and just says, I don't want to leave you, murder mommy, and I don't want you to leave me. I will never leave you, child. You are mine forever and ever. Uh, sounds is. like he just got conscripted in the blood war. <laughs> Going to be training Goku up to be an arcade archer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Definitely. you I guys. Can, uh, I can teach him archery. You officially like Gorko now, or Gorko um, is part of like I can create him a little P NPC sheet for him, uh, and you guys can he can live at the tavern if you want. Absolutely, mm -hmm. he's yours. Uh, not like you know, like ownership, but he will come and live with you, and he and as long as you treat him right, he will stay loyal to you, and he'll come out and do stuff with you, and. If you want to, depends on how much Mara, like how much you want to develop him. I feel like he's kind of like Mara's baby, but if you want to have him level up, that's and develop him a bit, that's fine with me too. He's kind Hell of like yeah. your sidekick now. Hell yeah! Tonight I'm going to design his um, picture. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got ideas. <laughs> and I like that no one noticed that I just called him like she switched between calling him Ducky. <laughs> she called him my child. Oh no, she also called him Ducky. Oh, okay. She killed everybody, Ducky. She also I like no. murder baby. <laughs> That's what only I war oh. calls people Ducky. Oh. Only war calls people Ducky. Okay. So we've got to visit wars back. Okay. Yeah. Oh we almost quick question, like nobody in our party actually knows about war, right? Like none of us asked. We just kind of nope. accepted Mara's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody has accepted <laughs> Mara as weird, but I like just at a game. War has also accepted this child, and Aww. like one of the reasons why uh, Mara went and used key on the sergeant was she's also accepted the dragon as her kid as well. <laughs> like she's got a connection now between them. Oh. oh. War is like a, a dragon. Hell yeah, I want a dragon. <laughs> um, it, it, it's kind of like that the the season finale of Angel, where he's like, "I want to fight the dragon." That that's war. She's like, "I want the dragon." Um, all right, so let me uh, tell you guys. Uh, since you cleared out everything, like you killed off the tentacle thingy, you didn't leave the spider behind. Hibara went after that thing. Otherwise, you'd have to fight anything that you didn't clean up on the way back. Um, but because the uh, you cleared it out, you can basically go back the way you came. However, 
Yeah, because... The dragon wouldn't be able to follow us. We've right. On the way out, we've got to clear the rubble, come yes. out the city, find somewhere to stash the dragon for or a while. another thing you could do is she kind of, like, she knows sort of this area. If you guys want to organize a, to meet her tomorrow somewhere. Uh, also, by the way, um, uh, when... Uh, I take it you guys take the sergeant out of the room. Mm -hmm. When she comes to... Know. She has no recollection of fighting you guys. She, the last thing she remembered was coming into the room and touching something on the altar. And then it seemed to, uh, then she has a vague memory of fighting and hitting some things. And then that's it. Um, but mm -hmm. she has on herself, um, she has a potion of healing uh, that she offers you all and thanks. Um, you know, um, Deshaba is down to three hit points, but she's not going to get attacked by anything. So she can heal up on her own the next day. <laughs> uh, uh, so um, she does, she flew into Waterdeep, and so she knows the area. She can't get into the city or even too close to it. But if you wanted to um, tell her to meet someplace uh, like tomorrow or um, the day after in, a, in outside of the city, uh, I can also put you on the map of, the, of Waterdeep if you want. So I think you guys had uh, visited already, what was it called? Uh, Undercliff? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, if you mm -hmm. wanted to tell her to sort of like a land somewhere in Undercliff, um, maybe I'm trying to think, because that's not too far from the North Ward. And if you, uh, she might, oh, the marching grounds. Um, that could, for instance, so I'm just kind of like gaming this out for you. I'm sorry. I probably should let you guys figure this out. But I'm just thinking practically because we're getting to the end of the session. It's getting kind of long and late. So mm -hmm. in case people are getting tired. Mm -hmm. But yeah, she would be able to get to some place like the marching grounds, which isn't too far from where Thelvar lives. Um, Aye. Right. And it's also by the City of the Dead. So um, there wouldn't be a lot of traffic. Um you know, going into the walls by the city of the dead and that side. So for instance, that would be, I mean, it's not, doesn't have to be that location, but I'm just sort of like trying to think of um, this a solution for you. Cause the book hasn't really given me a good one of, of where you guys can meet her afterwards. So. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> All right. Um, so what I will say is you get back through the uh, various tunnels. You've cleared everything out. So there's no danger to you. You don't have oh, to worry. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, we d we're leaving the dwarf body, right? Uh, yes, you're no, leaving. We... Or do you want to take it? You want to haul it with you? That's mm. fine. Because there's a couple. We're gonna take it. it can in. go in the sack with the other body in <laughs> theory. Do you have um the sar other sergeant's body too in the bag of holding? Because there was two sergeants yes. who came yeah. down. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. Should yeah. Take, we give it a proper burial so that okay. um sure. Goku isn't sad. Sure. Sure. Yeah. That's fine. Um, it's a very expansive bag of holding. Uh, you know, like Solutions Guild doesn't skim. Uh, so you can mm -hmm. easily fit two corpses in there. You know, it's high quality material. Oh, um. I just want... I just want to point out, um, when Gorga was celebrating newfound, newfound family, I just want... In that commotion, Hibara to take one of the dwarf's fingers. Okay. Uh, roll me a, um, a stealth with advantage because everyone was distracted, so you get advantage. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, good. Okay. Um, yeah, so you get a uh, corpse minus a uh, dwarf corpse minus one finger, but I mean, uh, I mean that could easily be explained by the damage done when he tried to um, put the orrery on the altar. And I'm gonna leave it where you guys. Uh, so. Time-wise, as well, because I'm trying to keep track of the days here, and uh, it was like early in the evening, and I figure uh, you're not going to need to take another long rest because you won't be fighting your way out. But when you climb up, it will have been basically a full day that you were down there, uh, mm -hmm. and I am going to leave it where you guys arrive back at the original fissure into which you descended and there um, you are pulled up by the sergeant with the southern accent but her two companions are no her two other officers are nowhere to be seen and we will pick it up next time uh, when you guys have to fill out some paperwork 
Okay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. There's there's something else that's yeah like I don't wanna I think this is a good time to end and also a very positive note before I throw anything else at you. Um, yes. Uh, yes, and also um sh um Bab uh, Dab uh, um Dab Shaba is that oh. I have to write down. This yes. Thing. Yeah. Can we just call her Dabby? Is that all right? I mean, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you guys also helped Dabby uh, clear out. She's pretty strong, uh, and between you and Mara and everyone else, you guys made it so that she could get out of the um, cavern that she came in through That when the earthquake happened that she got trapped underneath. And until next time, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for the session. So... Cool. All right. Well, I, because we did record this, I will try to put the two pieces together and edit only the sound that works. There will be a bit of a gap there. <laughs> We're sadly, but I think people get the feeling for how Mara and um, and her new murder baby bonded. Uh, so I think in, the, or, in order to keep things in the tradition of how we do stuff around here, uh, it's going to be goodbye from me and goodbye from the party. Say goodbye, party. Bye, goodbye, party. party. <laughs> they did the bit.